right. And we back with another episode of, hey, I'm just asking. And today we want to talk about the Lakers swept. What's next for LeBron James? First things first, though, I want to congratulate the Denver Nuggets on making it to their first NBA Finals. The better team won last night. Nikola Jokic has solidified his spot as the best player in the NBA. He got robbed of the MVP award, but a championship ring is on the horizon. I'm picking the Denver Nuggets to win it all. Now, let's talk about the Lakers and LeBron James. At 38 years old, I can honestly say he's the best that I've seen to do it at that age. I'm not a LeBron James fan, but he's definitely earned my respect. He did everything except make the last shot to force overtime last night. He deserves a salute for putting a team on his back, but he didn't have enough help from his teammates to pull out the victory. Darvin Ham deserves a lot of the blame for the outcome of this series. He's the first coach that I've witnessed to have a winning formula, but yet through stretches, he continued to let his foot off of the gas with the post play. His defensive schemes became laughable against the Nuggets. Too much switching when there was no need for that because it left the three-point defense vulnerable. His adjustments were horrible. He let D'Lo and Schroeder make mistake after mistake. Why not change up the rotation? We traded for Malik Beasley and never used him at no point in the playoffs. You played Tristan Thompson, which was cool, but it was three games too late. I commend him for coaching the team up to make it this far, but I'm not sure if he's a championship coach. Hey, Anthony Davis, I'm going to need you to get in the weight room this offseason. You look like paper against Jokic, and they put guards and forwards on you. You never dominated when your team needed you the most. Why use the same move over and over once it's proven not to work? Man, the Laker fans need to put you on the hot seat next season. All that playing good every other game won't cut it. Go find you some high tops. Get rid of them low tops. Maybe that will help you with your injury problem. Rob Palenka, you did great with the trades before the trade deadline, but I also blame you because that Westbrook, Pat Bev, Carmelo, Anthony, and whatever guys you brought, that experiment set us back to begin with. We needed Dwight Howard. And he was out there for cheap. The lack of a center hurt us because we only had one rebounder on the team. Can you put together a better team this offseason? We need a quality point guard ASAP. Maybe Kyrie Irving. Now, let's address the elephant in the room. Will LeBron James return for his 21st season? Hold up. Let me get this straight. In his post-game interview, he said he's used to playing for championships. And he has some things to think about in the offseason. And all I could say to that is, why? Ow. Stop dry whining. You the one that wanted Westbrook. We could have got DeMar DeRozan. At least he's a proven scorer. Did LeBron James play championship basketball? Yeah. He put up solid numbers, but how many turnovers, missed layups, and bad shots, especially from three-point range, did he take? You blew a few games for us 
with your sloppy play trying to be Steph Curry. When you should have been in the post because that's your best strength nowadays. If you do decide to come back, please work on some new post moves this offseason. I've never heard a GOAT complain so much publicly about what he needs or what he doesn't have. Is he the greatest of all times? Man, he loses too much for me. But if he retires, hey, it's been fun. Thanks for all of the memories. Man, I don't know. Y'all tell me what y'all think about this situation. Lakers swept. What's next for LeBron James? Eh, I don't know. They talking about him wanting to play until his son makes it to the league. Who's to say your son's good enough? Maybe I went too far, but hey, I'm just asking.